All right, guys, let's check out this new model from Seiko. This is called the Seiko SRPG-13, or we've called it now the Land Tortoise. Similar to a turtle or maybe even a willard, and I'm going to hold those up so we can check those out as a direct comparison. But before we do that, let's just get into the case size because that is one of the most intriguing things about this on top of some other things. So, and then there's a couple things I want to talk about additionally. So, case size, I measure 42.3, so we're just, it's like almost a 42, which Seiko cushion cases, when you get one around 42, it's going to wear much smaller. And then the lug to lug on it is only like 44.4. So, this is not a large watch. If you have a smaller wrist or you just like the smaller watches, this one is going to work for you 100%. I guarantee it. Even the thickness on it is only 11.9 millimeter is what I measure out. And that is from the bottom to the top of the flat sapphire crystal. Yes, sapphire crystal. And I believe most of these newer Seiko sapphire crystals also have anti-reflective coating on the underside. I can't pick up any blue hue or anything like that, but... Um, some of the other ones I've handled, they claim to have AR on them. I don't know if this one does. 20 millimeter lug width there, so you're going to be able to play around with some straps, which I have some here that I'll just kind of hold up to it. This is a brand new watch um, sent in by Mimo from Mimo's Jewelry. So I'm not going to dig at it with spring bars and change out the straps or anything. As much as I would like to show those as options on here, we'll just try to mock it up a little bit. So uh, big thanks to Mimo for doing so. I'll put a link down in the description down below. And of course, you can always use, uh, I think this is a prospect. So you should be able to use a code of ROB25 for your discount code. I'm not allowed to put that in the description down below, but I'm allowed to talk about it briefly here uh, for whatever reason. So retail price, 525 suggests a retail. It's using the caliber movement 4R35. should have about a 41-hour power reserve on it. You're going to be able to get the hand wind, the automatic, and the hack, and all that stuff. Uh, another thing I didn't mention is the crown. Six and a half millimeter crown. That is a really nice size for this, and it is easy to operate. It is slightly shielded by the case, but it has enough length to it. Oh, it's screw, screw down crown, guys. 200 meter water resist. So check this out. Yeah. Nice action on that. has a kind of a Seiko pop. It's not really like a full-on... Uh, luxury watch pop but it pops out a little bit and you're going to be able to wind in that first position this forearm feels nice no problems there first position is going to access the date change and then the last position is going to hack the movement and allow you to set the time and very nominal wobble there on the crown go ahead and push it back in get that second hand start to go again and screw the crown in I have to say real quick, because I had a, a really nice long conversation on the phone right before I started recording this with, um, well, we're just going to call him because his username on my Discord, my private Discord, is Calico Basin. So we had a nice long talk, and one of the things we talked about was Seiko, and we briefly talked about how both of us, we've had enough watches, and we're both kind of like, um, I guess, not really into Seiko right now. I guess is a, the nicest way to say it, for whatever reason, right? But it's models like this that draw me back into the Seiko lineup. You know, you can only do so many different colorways of the Turtle or the Willard. The Willard is awesome. I love the Willard. Um, you guys know my feelings on the Turtle. I think they're really good um, donors for Seiko SKX builds. No, I'm just kidding. They're, they're cool watches too. But even like the 4th Gen Monsters, there's some of those that are really cool looking and stuff. Uh, but... I have my monster. You guys know my feelings on that too. But when they drop a new model that is very similar to the rest of them, but they spec it out really nice. This is not like the 5KX, right? Where we're all just like, we get it. It works. We don't go diving with them. We could do a push-pull crown. We have the hand wine and the, and the hacking, and it's a lower price point. This thing has a decent price point, which they've, they're have they moving them up again. You just saw that with... You know, the turtle, because the, the turtle was like the 525. Now they're the 625 because it's the king turtle. And then this guy's 525. But you have your water resist. You have your sapphire crystal. You have things that line up. Like the chapter ring lines up with the, the dial on this. And this has a bi-directional friction. Really nice solid friction on it. It's not going to bounce around on you. Um, compass bezel. 
And the colorways on these are awesome. I like this one. There's a really cool blue one. There's one with warm tones on it. Let's guild color and stuff like that. What do they say? The blue one and then I can't remember. And then I think there's like a IP gold colored case one, which I think is like a little bit more, maybe $25 more or something like that. But they all, there's like three or four of them. They all look really good. I don't think any of them had bracelets. So they all come on like these uh, straps here, which are pretty heavy duty. I'm sure they'll break in or maybe you can work them and get them broken in. Uh, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of straps that are like this stiff. So I would consider doing this on um, NATO, obviously. You could get really crazy with some NATO, some earth tones and stuff like that. Or a really nice leather strap would look awesome on this, I think. Don't you? Some nice brown tones and stuff like that. Or maybe like an Erica's original or another style of elastic strap on this to really turn this into a true field watch with a compass bezel i think that would be killer this combo right here and there's you know other color options if you go with la for erica's or whatever brand watch the watch steward there's other options you can go with that are going to complement this really really uh, nicely so before i pop this on wrist and give you the loom shot because i'm i know i'm carrying on but there's things you guys want to see on this let's do a close-up of it real quick you can see that handset I don't see any rough edges on that. I'm zoomed in, right? So this is better than what the naked eye is going to see. And I see very clean, well done hands, dial and nice indices on this guy. And usually these dials look like their uh, indices are pressed from the bottom. This one actually looks like they're applied. I don't see how this one's pressed in. So this might be one of the best it's kind of a dive watch, even though it doesn't have the dive bezel, which none of us use the dive bezel anyway. You could still time things with this. It would just be a little more difficult. This is probably one of the best newer releases in the affordable segment of the Prospects lineup from Seiko. Are these land tortoise? These are awesome. I know people are waiting on me to do these videos, and I'm 100% on board with this. I don't know all of this stuff on the back. It has, like, ground-to-air emergency signal codes. So I don't know how all that works. I'll have to look that up, and I'm sure you guys will comment down below. Uh, but, you know, made in Japan, sapphire crystal, 20 bar water resist, and then it has all that information. So, you know, if you're stranded somewhere, I think this is stuff to um, do codes or something. I don't know if you spell something out down below. So, if, you know, uh, air support looking for you looks down, they see those, then they know, uh, okay, yeah, this guy needs a doctor or... Uh, what does this one say? Not under, not understood. I, I don't know. I don't know how all that stuff works, but regardless, that's what's there. So uh, it's all built into this watch. But I'm really digging that handset, the colorway, the whole combo of this is really well done. All right. So let's get into this. I want to show this. I'm trying to hold these at the same plane. So this guy's like 42.3. This one's like 45 or something. And uh, quite the size difference. So this one's going to be more of like, the land tortoise is going to be more of like, even if the SKX didn't really work for you very well, which I didn't grab that. Maybe I'll grab that out of the box. Um, this one's going to work. I'm telling you, this one's going to work on so many wrists. So let's hold it next to the Willard, which is closer to that 42. But you can see even the Willard's more spread out. Mostly, you know, as it transitions to where the ends are, then it's still kind of bulbous, where this one kind of tucks in a little bit. It has a little bit more of a sleek tortoise design instead of a uh, whatever this is going for. But um, it's a very similar case shape in size, just sleek. It's slimmed down a little bit. Let me grab that SKX real quick so you guys can see what it looks like maybe next to an SKX too. And it's way thinner too. I mean, it is way thinner. So it's going to be, with that cushion case, nice sharp lines on that. This is going to be a really nice wearing watch. All right, let me pop it on wrist and then we'll do the loom shot. I went way long on this, guys. I know, not way long, I'm close to 10. Yeah, see, I'm not a huge fan of the strap. It needs to be broken in. Once it's broken in, it'd be fine. I would easily probably wear this on another strap. I'm not patient enough to break in a strap. It's just not me. I know a lot of you guys are totally fine with it. And this strap would be fine. If you broke it in, it would be totally fine. It'd be nice and robust. This thing on that Erica's or a really nice leather, hands down, 
good choice. This thing is killer. I'm really digging it. I would say that I would like to pick one of these up, but uh, it's just not where I'm at in the collection. I'm, I'm doing something a little bit different, and we're going to talk about that in a future video, but um, this is very tempting. You know, applied Seiko logo. I mean, this is, this is, I'm telling you, this is the model that pulls you back in. Like, if you're in the same boat as me, where you're like, Seiko isn't doing it for me anymore. You know, there's a lot of cool new models, and those always try to pull me in. But, but they're usually just different colorways. It's something like this. Because even the Willard, I love the Willard. These are not cheap. Not I'm not saying a $500 watch is cheap, but it's way more approachable than a you know $1,200 watch. I think you guys would all agree with that. So let's kill the lights and check the loom on this. Killer loom. And it's the blue loom. Check that out. They do, I'm telling you, this land tortoise is awesome. Huge fan. Well done, Seiko. And I don't say that very often. I love the Seikos, but it's rare that I say well done. And I can say well done with the land tortoise. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next bid.